everyone. I'm Michelle and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing something a little different. I'm going to be sharing my, what is it? <laughs> it's my garden, but it's not one that I've shared before. It's my cottage garden. So I haven't really talked about this a lot just because I don't know why. <laughs> so I'm going to share what it looks like and how it's progressed. I haven't gotten a whole lot out of it. And I'll talk about that. But anyway, enjoy and I'll see you later. Okay, so I have not showed you this garden at all. And mostly it's because it hasn't really done anything. But this is the spot that I planted <clears throat> that actually I grew carrots and I got my first carrot. Because this year my goal was to plant a carrot. See that? Those are all carrots. And there's some carrots down there. I've already eaten some of the carrots out of there because you can see some carrots are missing and I planted this oh boy I think in June sometime like the end of June and you can see the beans already and then here's some peas right here I used the leftover political signs to, for the peas to crawl up and then you can see I planted some more beans here and then there's oh boy there's lettuce and radishes and spinach and some onions and parsley i don't think they're gonna grow but it was old seed so and then right here i planted a variety of lettuce and i have some celery some flowers and then here all the way down to there i will show you it's actually leeks but before i get there these are my gherkins and then i have some squash there's one there's one it's my yellow squash um I'm trying to kill some weeds off so I have this plastic up here, but so you can hear this. Here's the celery. Here I planted some more um carrots and radishes. You can see the radishes came up really well. So and there are carrots in there. It's hard to see, but there are actually carrots in there. And then here's the leeks. You can, you can see there's a bunch of leeks in here. There I got like a big container. A big container. A small container with probably, I don't know, probably 30 or 40 in there. I tried to separate them out. You can see I didn't do that very good of a job. But I kind of separated them out and put them in here. I've grown leeks before many times, but um, I usually separate them a little er earlier, but that's good. And then you can see here I have some more. <clears throat> I used seed tape. These are old seed tape, so that one's lettuce. And then this one right here is beets. This one is beets. I'm not sure what this one is. I knocked this over trying to water it. So, yeah, it's beets again. So I have three rows of beets because I used up that package. There's a kale in here. I thought I had a couple of kale, but I don't see any more kale. So I'm kind of thinking that they didn't. I don't know what happened to them. but And then <clears throat> right here. I planted some cilantro. We'll see if it comes up. And then I have one more squash right here. This is my cosmos, but it looks pretty sad. I put it in too late, so I don't know if it made it. And then, this is a look from the other side. You can kind of see. It's just a new spot that I'm trying out. I didn't till this. This is just, I came and pulled all the weeds out of this spot just to see if I could do it. And then I put the plastic over there to try and keep it and then I used pieces of wood on this side <clears throat> and then over there you can see I have a big thing of mulch so it's just a new I'm trying some different ways of doing my garden I couldn't for whatever reason this spot didn't turn out like I wanted it there's some more squash there's one here one here and one there you can kind of see way in there but this little squash there's actually a little squash on it it's kind of cute I don't know if I'm going to pick it though, because look how small it is. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really, really tiny. So it's like, oh, it's a mini squash. So, so there you are. The tour of my, I guess I could call it my secret garden, because I haven't really talked about it at all. But it's the garden that I was actually able to grow carrots in. So I'm kind of pleased with it. It's cute little in suits suits what I was doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to use uh, most of this, the garden here is all older seeds. 
and stuff that I saved. So it's kind of like my experiment garden. So there you are. So as you can see, it's not very big. It's kind of, I call it a postage stamp garden, but it's more of an experiment to try and see if I can get some things to work. That even though they're like, I used old seed and I used stuff that I did myself as kind of a test because it's not something I've done before. So anyway, the thing with it that I forgot to mention is that I used old seed tape and every time I've used the old seed tape, it hasn't worked. And this time it did. So I, but I watered this garden almost every day. So I'm thinking that it needed more water than I was giving it the other times. And this particular dirt is almost, I would say it's a lot of composted horse manure. So I'm thinking that's probably why it did so well. And I tried planting carrots in this particular spot twice. Nothing came up the first time. And the, well, I put it under a board because that's what was suggested to me. And then I got so frustrated, I just threw it on the ground and it grew, which is what you see. So that was just weird. So anyway, thanks for taking along and I'll see you next time. Bye.